The one and only Drawden Lockbird returns and now without Phantom of Jubel we even have less weapons to fight him. Surely we can't do anything against him now, right? Well, that's wrong. I'm not sugarcoating anything, okay? Without Phantom of Jubel the power level of this deck is significantly reduced, but that doesn't mean we can't do anything against Drawl. There are quite a few things we can accomplish. Drawl is very strong, but luckily we don't have a Manadium case where we insta lose against it once we see it. That's not the case. I welcome you to another episode of the Ubel Academy. This is a video series where I go over different moments and cards and what you can do against those cards and moments with Ubel. So if you want to better learn Ubel or you want to know how to play against it, especially since Legacy of Destruction is right around the corner, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes. This video is only post Legacy of Destruction, so no Phantom of Ubel and it's focused around Drawl. Many people requested that and I can understand why after testing. Drawl seems to hit our deck quite heavily and that's the reason why I'm happy to show you something you can do under Drawl. Like I mentioned in my previous Phantom of Ubel video where I showed you how to beat Drawl with Phantom of Ubel, we still only have two important searches and luckily the first one is the most important one. The first one being Nightmare Pain and the second one being Yama, so being cut off the Unchained Engine heavily hurts, especially without Phantom of Jubel, but like I mentioned, that doesn't mean we can't do anything against it. This combo specifically is a two card combo, where you need access to Samsara and Nightmare Pain or Major Chronicles. I will later on in the video also show you what one Samsara can accomplish, but I do think the two card combo is way more interesting, so I want to show that first. Like in almost every video I make, we start by normal summoning Samsara. I don't know if he's the Pirate King yet, I haven't asked. We activate his effect to special one Spirit. And Spirit, that's the reason why I told you that you need access to either Nightmare Pain or Major Chronicle, because if you have access to Nightmare Pain, we now set Major Chronicle. And if you have already Major Chronicle in hand, you can just set Nightmare Pain. Then we activate Major Chronicle. And now we give our opponent the chance to draw us. We activate Nightmare Pain to pop the Spirit. And Spirit will still add us one Infernal Grave, our best buddy. And now chain link 1 spirit, chain link 2, your opponent with a smirk on his face throwing Drawl into the graveyard. And now it kinda hurts more than with Phantom of Jubel, but we can still manage something, alright? Spirit will float into Jubel and now Major Chronicle starts to get counters, but it will get more counter. We special summon Inferno Grave, but we do not pop anything since we don't have a reason for that really. It doesn't give us anything. We just special summon him and now Major Chronicle has two counters, but now especially playing under Drawl or playing through Nip, the first effect that says special summon one you buy from your graveyard is really important. That's the reason why I personally currently like Major Chronicle way more than Eternal Favorite. I don't have the bravery just yet to play both of them in the deck, so I have to decide and this card, especially in a hand trap environment, gives you way more immediate value than Eternal Favorite. Now we link away Infernal and Ubel into SP. We activate Infernal Grave's effect to banish itself to reborn a Fiend monster and now it's really important to not reborn the original Ubel, just reborn Spirit. Because we now utilize Major Chronicle to activate and special summon one OG Ubel from the graveyard. Eternal Favorite can special Ubel monsters, Chronicle just specifically says it has to be this Ubel. And now we overlay into the Omni Negate. Without committing too much resources, we have accomplished through Drawl a pretty formidable endboard and don't forget that only two cards did that. I personally run a pretty hefty amount of hand traps, so the chance is highly likely that one of those three cards left in hand is one or two hand traps and if it's Spirit of Jubel, they can't even run anything over and you get engine in a rolling. Also, don't forget that Major Chronicle still has three counters on it, so even if you, in theory, wouldn't draw anything, you can just link Wildrath the way and since we have Jubel in Graveyard, we can reborn Jubel again and have combo with Nightmare Pain. So the endbot even has follow up. The absence of Phantom of Jubel is really limiting our resources to play under Drawl, but I do really think this endbot is still respectable, especially paired with non-engine or any other cards. So I'm really happy that we don't have a deck where one Drawl is thrown and we end on nothing. I'm really thankful for that. We are in the same scenario as before now. We opened our one card combo and either Nightmare Pain or Major Chronicle. The only thing that changed now is that we have a way to basically put one extender to the field. In that case it's Nightmare Throne. Important note, if you open Nightmare Throne but you have combo anyways even without it, first start with the normal combo and don't activate Nightmare Throne. I know it sounds really really good to bait hand trips but if you get drawled on Nightmare Throne it can be really devastating especially if you don't have Infernal Grave in your hand. So always aim for Nightmare Pain 
being your first searching. Of course there are exceptions depending on the hand, but the general rule of thumb is to always aim for Nightmare Pain being your first searcher so you play around Thrall the best. Now you may say, if we don't activate Nightmare Throne now, we don't get the effect that if a Yubel monster is destroyed, Nightmare Throne specials one additional Yubel from out of the deck and yes, while that is true, I hope you do realize that Nightmare Throne under Drawl cannot do that because it specifically says it has to add that form first to the hand. So to resolve that you need to not get Drawled because otherwise let's just say we activate Nightmare Pain. Nightmare Pain pops Spirit and will add us one Infernal Grave. Spirit is chaining one and Nightmare Throne is chaining two. If they chain Drawl through that you are completely fucked because Nightmare Throne will then not resolve anymore. If you have combo anyways it's way better to wait and I will show you why. We activate Nightmare Pain to pop the spirit and add us one infernal grave like always. And now chaining one is spirit and chaining two is draw. From here on we could in theory just build the same bot as before but since we had one extender in hand in form of Nightmare Throne we can now just activate Nightmare Throne to pop one spirit out of the deck. Because Nightmare Throne has a secret effect you don't need to add anything you can also just destroy anything. And under draw that's really good because since we are playing two Ogeo belts we can just get the second one. And I know it's not really a secret effect Nightmare Throne has, but I do think many people forget that you don't have to add anything, you can also just destroy anything. With the additional buddy on the field we basically have full combo, we activate Infernal Graves effect to special summon him, then we link Infernal and Yubel into Yama, we sadly don't add the best doggy because of the evil evil drawl. We activate Infernal Graves effect to reborn the spirit. Now we link away the Yama and one of the Yubels into Rage. By removing one counter from Major Chronicle we can reborn one OG Yubel and overlay both of the Yubels into Valdreth. We have Rage, we have the Valdreth Omni Negate and we have Yama in the graveyard to basically give us access to Spirit of Yubel. The end bot is really good but the reason why I wanted to include that into the video is most importantly Nightmare Throne. I just want to remind you that you don't have to use Nightmare Throne as a starter. If you have combo already of course. You can just wait if you get hand trapped and use Nightmare Throne as extender. If you don't get drawled you can just wait for Shavara and then activate Nightmare Throne to get the second form in rotation. So basically it's just different sequencing but it rewards you if you get hand trapped. That's what I want you to know. What do we do if we only open one Samsara and no other card to help? Well good news. We can still do something. First you need to play to this point, then we activate Nightmare Pain to pop the spirit and adding one of our best buddies, the Infernal Grave. Then we activate Infernal's effect to special summon it. We link Infernal and Yubel into Yama and we use Infernal's graveyard effect to reborn anything. After that we just link away the monster with Yama into Rage, which ultimately gave us Rage to link off into SP. So basically three interruptions, but more important is the Yama in the graveyard. If anything on our field gets destroyed, we can just banish the Yama to immediately access the Yubel engine. It's pretty pretty good. Especially considering again that only one card did that. So if you don't have any extender in your hand the chances are really high that you at least have non-engine to back that up and then it gets really really deadly. You just have to play way more on the defense and I do think the bots we can accomplish through Drawl are really good in that. As always if you have a question or you just want to say something in general don't hesitate to do that in the comments. It's nearly time and I just can't wait to hold the legacy displays in my hand. Times are just great to be a Yubel fan. See ya.